Oh, she has probably less than 20 weeks left in her pregnancy and every day I hope to God I'd say my prayers that that baby don't come out looking like me. You know, I was just thinking, and I know it's not into the far future, but it's gonna be weird for you because that baby of hers is gonna grow up in the same house as Junior. They're gonna form this bond. And then when he has birthday parties and stuff, he's gonna want his sister to go. So you're like always gonna be attached. Like no matter what, there's always gonna be that connection between you and Miranda. Yeah, I think about that stuff too, because I don't want to feel like I'm chained to my ex-wife. But I think about it like, she can have her parties for, for Junior. I'll have my parties for Junior, I'll have a small cake. And we don't really need to invite our halves, our worlds, you know? Yeah, but again, there's just always going to be those events, you know? Like, let's say hypothetically, Junior wants to have a party at Dave and Buster's. He's not going to invite his sister. And if his sister goes, likelihood is, depending on his, her age, her mom's going to be there. And you're going to be there. And I don't know. These are just things I think about. Yeah, that does suck. I hope it don't come to that. And at the end of the day, like, my goal is to have full custody of Junior. If she has full custody of Junior like she does now, it'll always be like that where I got to see her. And I don't want to deal with that. So if he lived with me... He's not going to miss his half-sister. He's going to visit his half-sister the same way he visits mommy. You know what I mean? And maybe he won't want her at birthday parties like that. I can understand if he grew up with her, but, you know. So are you, like, open to separating them, even if they get older? He's three now. He ain't going to remember anyone right now. He don't remember these memories. So I would not let him get old enough and then take custody. Like... I still want to have full custody of him when he's relatively young, so I can start my life with him, you know? Yeah, but you getting custody of him in the future, like, hypothetically, I do have a baby with you. Do we really want to raise Junior in this house with our baby? And I don't mean that in a toxic way, I'm just saying it could be a lot. Alright, now you kind of sound like my ex-girlfriend, Melissa. I don't want you to ever hate on Junior, you know? I don't ever want you to think, like, he's not my first priority and I don't want him here over everyone else. Like, I want him to live with me, you know? And I, and I don't want you to have disdain for him just because he belongs to my ex-wife. No, I, I'm not trying to sound toxic. I'm really not. I'm just being logical. I met your son. I don't hate your son. I care for your son. But I mean, like, logically, you live in this apartment. You live on food stamps, you're struggling to begin with. Do you really want to take in Junior and then have a kid? Look, I'm struggling now because of my child support, even when it's lower, you know? But uh, when he lives with me, I don't need to pay child support. I'll be getting my full check. And hopefully at that time, I earn more and stuff, you know? You gotta think positive. You can't always just assume you're gonna be in these financial terms and these situations. Yeah, but that's also if you don't get locked up for child support fraud and disability fraud, you know? You want me to go back to work and then pay whatever they want me to pay her? Like, I'm having fun with my off-the-books job, you know? I'm, I'm able to treat you to things. No, I don't. I like how much money you make, but I just don't want you to get arrested. That's where I speak from. I speak from fear. I don't like when you worry like that, because then now you sound like my ex-wife. So Joey, if I sound like your ex-girlfriend, if I sound like your ex-wife, I think you've even said I sound like your mom at times. Why are you with me? Because you give really good... What? Finish your sentence. <laughs> advice. You give really, really good advice. Yeah, mm-hmm. You won't be getting any more advice from me if you keep comparing me to your ex-girlfriend, your ex-wife, and your mom.